Bringing the CEO of Southwest Airlines, Gary Kelly. Gary, thanks for joining us this morning. How is the situation today? Thanks, George. It's great to be back. Uh, well, yeah, things are much improved today, and, and, and essentially all this uh, starts with a series of FAA Florida uh, delay programs on Friday. About half of our airplanes touched the state of Florida. Uh, Orlando, as an example, had a ground stop for seven hours. Uh, so it just put the airline way behind on Friday. Uh, it, so there were no ATC issues over the weekend. That's absolutely true. But I think any, you know, any industry expert knows that it takes several days if you have that large of an impact uh, on the operation so to get the airplanes where they need to be and then to match the crews up with that. And I completely agree with Captain Murray. Uh, our people are doing a phenomenal job. Uh, they're working very, very hard. Uh, and of course, I want to apologize to all of our customers. Uh, this is not this is not what we want, but um, unfortunately, it just takes a couple of days to uh, get things back on track. So things are much smoother today. We have a few more cancellations uh, than we would normally have, but uh, uh, things are pretty well back to normal. I know Spirit Airlines had some trouble as well, but it seems like Southwest really bore the brunt of this. Why? Why Southwest? Well, I think it's uh, what I said. I think over half of our fleet touches the state of Florida. We have a linear route system. We're just different. And, you know, I can't really speak to uh, what their issues were or weren't. Uh, everyone was impacted on Friday, uh, and everyone was impacted in a, in a very big way. Seem a lot of people invested in this idea that this is somehow related to vaccine mandates. There's just no evidence of that. Uh, you know, as I said, and as Captain Murray said, our people are working very hard. Uh, they're doing a great job. I'm very proud of them, uh, and especially when we get into a difficult situation like this, uh, they're also delayed. They're also ending up in places uh, that they didn't expect. So, uh, no, our people are doing a, a phenomenal job. And the vaccine mandate, obviously, is controversial, and uh, it's not anything that, that I wish for our company. Uh, this is a government mandate. It's a presidential order. Uh, and we're doing our best to comply with that uh, according to the deadlines that, that have been set. Um, we're not going to fire any employees over this. We're urging all of our employees to get vaccinated. If they can't get vaccinated, uh, we're urging them to seek an accommodation. So, uh, uh, you know, we'll do everything we can to support our people here. Are you going to need to add employees to deal with the holiday crush? Uh, we're definitely hiring employees. You know, the pandemic has been tough on the world. It's, it's certainly been tough on the airline industry and on Southwest. So we're, we're still making adjustments there. We've moderated our flight schedule uh, to match up with our staffing. Absenteeism is higher uh, in, in, in some ways because of COVID and quarantines. Uh, and it's just a more difficult working environment for people out there. So uh, again, we're doing everything that we can to serve our customers very well, and also take uh, very good care of our employees. Gary Kelly, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you, George. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.